Welcome guys, welcome guys. Uh, so today is uh, we are talking about this famous buffalo uh, needles prop. Okay, so the famous is the old stories that uh, I think this is buffalo or something. Okay, so <laughs> suppose that you drop a short needle on root paper. Uh, what is then the probability of the needle comes to lies in the position where it cross one uh, it crosses one of the lines? Okay, so uh, before I start, uh, please do subscribe to my channel. So my channel usually talk about math and physics and other interesting stuff, and I usually provide the uh, detailed proof. Okay, so the story is that uh, you have a line, right? You have a rule, and uh, each line has a distance d, and the line is infinite and uh, infinite large, and uh, you have a lens, uh, you have a needle with the lens l. Okay, and this problem is very really famous because this buffalo needle problem can pr pr can produce pi, right? So basically, it provides a physical uh, so a physics experiments which you can uh, measure pi, right? If you are crazy, you are crazy enough. Okay. Uh, so the the problem contains the two parts. Okay, so first part I will first talk about the so called short needle case. So people, if you go to YouTube, you go to Wikipedia, and most of people talk about short needle. Short needle case means that uh, L is less than D, and uh, this problem is very easy because you can get uh, something with linear linear in L, so you get something called pi. Okay, and uh, I will talk about so-called long needle. So the long needle is a little bit difficult, uh, but uh, we can get uh, interesting answer. Okay, so welcome back. So guys, uh, we can start. <laughs> okay, I mean it's very happy to see you guys in uh, YouTube. Although I, although I cannot see you, but hope you can see me. Okay, so let's talk about the short needle case. Uh, so why short needle is long needle is, di is different, right? Because in a short needle case, in a short needle case that, that you always, you can, you can always meet one, you can always cross one line, right? So that's simply speaking, you have this L, right? Okay, so the proof is very easy that, uh, it's very easy that uh, this is L, right? This is L. So let's call it alpha, then this is L sine alpha, right? So, um, okay, so, sorry, maybe I put alpha here, so this is L sine alpha. So if the L sine, it didn't cross, this means that, uh, mean, uh, means your L sine alpha should less than D, right? So let me see your probability that you care about is just L sine alpha divided by D, right? So this is the probability that you, you, uh, you, the pro sorry, the probability that uh, you cross one of the distance, right? You cross the one of the distance. Okay, you cross, right? You cross the one of the distance. If you, if you're, uh, let's maybe let's see it. Okay, so so the idea is that uh, you have L, right? So let's separate into half, right? So this is. Let's say d over two, right? D over two, and then this is your 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 lens. So this is your L, right? And your alpha, right? And then this is L sine alpha, right? So if your L sine, so it it based based on how, uh, how large this L sine alpha is, right? So the probability that you touch you touch across two lines basically is this L sine alpha. It's basically it is your your L sine alpha divided by d, right? Because by symmetry. Uh, just ignore this. Uh, by symmetry, that how many that how the probability you touch, you can touch with both lines uh, is the same. Right, so I I can assume that uh, some of the points touch here. Okay, so this this lens is L sine alpha. So the probability that the uh, the probability that such needles across one of the horizon uh, lines of the D or of the distance D is L sine alpha divided by D. Right, so the idea is that we just average it, and uh, the alpha is is it's like the it's uniform, right? So we just need to divide this two over pi and from zero to pi over two, the d alpha. Okay, and uh, this integral is very easy to do. So we get two l divided by pi d negative cosine alpha from uh, pi over two zero. So we get two l divided by pi d. Okay, so uh, this is uh, the famous the short the short needle case, right? So the idea is that uh, you just draw draw this and then you understand this L sine alpha divided by D will be your probability. 
Mm. Okay, so let's maybe let's go to the uh, long needle case. Okay, so let's erase this, and uh, we just go into the long needle case. So the to modify to long needle case is very easy because all you need to know that uh, we integrate from zero to two pi, right? The reason is that uh, our L is always less than D. So our, so our L is always less than D. So if so if our L is can be larger than D, right? Then integral zero to two pi over two is is stupid, right? We don't have to do this. We 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 need to separate into two over pi, and we only can integrate. Okay, so that so let me just write it down. So right, if L larger than D, then then if L sine alpha, then L sine alpha can have possibility then larger than D, right? So if L sine alpha larger than D, then the probability that uh, the probability that it will meet is definitely one, right? So let alpha let alpha is the arc arc sine D over L, right? So it's sine inverse D over L sine inverse d over l right one d alpha right because if your angle is larger than this then it definitely meets right so you just, so this is a simple modification okay so let's just finish this integral uh, maybe i write here okay so the first term is that uh, also the same thing two pi l divided by d negative cosine alpha and the arc sine sine inverse d d by L plus zero plus pi over two minus sine inverse d divided by L. Okay, so combine all of it, uh, we get the uh, one plus two over pi L divided by d square root of one. Right, the idea is that you get cosine and sine inverse, right? So there will be a square root because you need to use a sine minus cosine is alpha. Uh, sine minus sine plus sine square plus cosine square is one. Okay, so we got this. Okay, so minus sine d over l. Okay, so this is uh, our answer. Okay, so right. So uh, the easy idea is that if you check that, uh, I think if you check that the uh, l equals to d, then this term uh, vanish. This term also vanish, so you get uh, our previous. Uh, oh, this term vanish. No. Uh, Let's check about. Okay, so if L equals to D, uh, what we get, right? If L equals to D, this is zero. Uh, we get the. Uh, oh, we get zero. Two L divided by pi D. Uh, minus what? Minus sine one. Uh, Sign one, not quite sign one. Uh, let's say pi over two. Right, so we get the pi over two. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. So if d equals to l, so let's check if d equals to l. Then what we get is one plus pi over two, l divided by d minus arc sine one. Right, so it's pi over two. So which is exactly two l divided by pi d. Okay, nice shot. Okay, so uh, this is the long long needle uh long needle case okay that's it i will see you guys in the next video be sure to subscribe to my channel